unbeatable feeling of match day is in the air and the knowledge that this has all the makings of a vibrant and compelling encounter anticipation levels are sky high and every expectation that this game will live up to its considerable billing and it's live on ea tv Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're talking to you from one of the special venues in European football, the San Siro, here in the city of Milan. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And this is how it looks for Inter. Well, it's a 3-5-2 formation, but the player that holds everything together is the deep midfield player. He's good defensively, but he's also a very good passer of the ball. He's key to their game plan here. This is the lineup for the visitors today. El Said Husay plays alongside Alessio Romagnoli in central defence. Manuel Lazzari plays with Adam Marusic out wide. And the main goal scoring threat today should come from Ciro Immobile. Well, I really enjoy watching Nicolo Barella. Interested to know what you think he might produce today. Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Arnautovic. On to Turam. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Marusic. Daichi Kamada. Here's Lazzari. Felipe Anderson. Kamada. Gendouzi. Now Immobile. Barella has it. Not Inter unable to retain possession. Matteo Guendouzi. Zakanyi. And now with Marusic. Well timed tackle. Marcus Tuham. He has teammates around him. Turam on to Barella De Frey failure to keep the ball by Inter Felipe Anderson Felipe Anderson doing everything possible to keep possession oh but they've lost it now good piece of closing down decisive in the tackle and the throw in here just the clearance that was needed that's effective pressure high up the pitch And he could really get at the opposition. Marusic. Very quick thinking there. Augusto. Federico Di Marco and quick thinking defensively Zaccagni
Barella. And in the right position to read it. Renduzzi. Daichi Kamada. Romagnoli. Manuel Lazzari. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Well, he's allowed it to go over the touchline, so a throw in. Well, there we have it. This has been a really poor game so far. The players need to pick up the tempo and be a lot braver with their passing and their movement. This can only get better. Inter in a position of menace. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. straight into the meat of the penalty area and a no-nonsense clearance foul there free kick awarded They couldn't maintain possession. Davide Fratesi. Barella has it. Federico Di Marco. Well, the supporters think it's on. Great opportunity. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. So underway again here, one nil the score. Zakanyi. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Chiro Immobile. Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the San Siro. Well, he played his part in the first half, that's for certain. Marcus Turam sum up his contribution for us well he certainly had an impact on that first half scoring that late goal but i thought his overall contribution was really good and he got better as the half wore on so back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect Really determined play to hang on to it. Well, that's the end of that move for now. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Matteo Guendouzi. Zakanyi. Marusic. Kamada. Well, it's a pretty low line at the moment. Marusic plays it back on a corner here and that might boost their hopes and they're making a change playing it short 
Romagnoli. Well, Inter couldn't hang on to it. El Saeed Husay. Daichi Kamada. Well, showing really good width here. Immobile. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. Marcus Tuham. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Counter-attacking chance. Felipe Anderson. Pisai. Good tackle, take it away. Barella. Augusto. Arnautovic. Now with Barella. Making a bit of headway. Arnautovic. Fine build up as they look to add to their advantage. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Pedro. And it's with Pedro. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Gendouzi. A smart stop here. Yet another tremendous save to add to the list. 20 minutes remaining. And Inter doing well to win the ball back. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Good example of pressing without the ball. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Oh, it was a crucial challenge. El Saeed Husay. Now Felipe Anderson. Lazzari. How about the cross? Well, just the tackle that was needed. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And there's the delivery. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Pedro. Well, body in the way. Ten minutes to go. Damian. Making progress. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Turam. It comes to absolutely nothing. Determined defending. Options in the middle. Genuine chance. Oh, an excellent save. And they're still alive. Well, that really would have been it. They're still in it here, but they're going to have to be quick. Corner kick played in. 
Well, the danger is still there. Barella. Oh, surely. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Oh, such an elegant finish. How about that on the volley? A brilliant strike, whatever way you look at it. Well, just look at this dribble from Barella. He goes past the defender so easily, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Patrick. Immobile now. Immobile. And he's broken free. And there it is. All in the melting pot now. And what a finale we could have in store for us. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. So there we have it, 2-1. Barella. Now with Turam. Matteo Damian. And there goes the final whistle. The Inter fans full of the joys because it's three points for them. What did you make of it all? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.